Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Empower your WooCommerce store with Gelato print-on-demand capabilities. This tutorial provides a clear roadmap to integrate Gelato seamlessly, allowing you to expand your product range with personalized print-on-demand items on WooCommerce. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So guys, I'm going to show you two ways to actually make this work. So the first way, which is basically going to your uh, Gelato website. So let's do that. Click here and open the first link that will appear to you. Here, as you can see, simply just head up to the top right corner to sign in to, or to sign up. I will sign into my website. And here I am on my account. So now basically I am on this dashboard, uh, which is not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for exactly is this menu. So basically what you'll have to do is to go to this menu and you will find all of these different sections. Go all the way to the stores and right click on it. After that, as you can see here, this message, let's read it all together. So the free plan enables you to have two stores. Upgrade to Gelato Plus to integrate up to five stores. So for me, I have two stores already added to my Gelato account, so I have to remove one. I have already made like two stores in here because of other tutorials. So in case you were interested in one of these uh, platforms, yep, I already made a tutorial about them, so you can check the videos uh, about them later on. But now let's delete them since we don't need them anymore. So delete store and it's gonna be deleted. Now, how can we add our WooCommerce store and integrate it with Gelato? So it's very simple guys, nothing complicated at all. So here you will find direct integrations. In the direct integration section, you will find Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, Wix, Squarespace, and finally, BigCommerce. There is other platforms that you might be interested in, like Adobe Commerce, Amazon, Base, Big Cartel, eBay, Equid, Gumroad, Instagram, Magento, uh, Novim Shop, uh, Pretest Shop, uh, Square, uh, Story in V, uh, TikTok Shop, Walmart, uh, Webly, Webflow, YouTube, and finally all integrations. You can find also some manual and API integrations in the bottom if you are interested in them. So here, for example, if you want to see help on how you can get started, so here you will find it for, for example, WooCommerce. So let's search for WooCommerce. So here it is. So basically here, WooCommerce is a powerful e-commerce platform designed for merchants who require extensive customization and scalability. To highlight, you can get extensive customization options, you will get integration with WordPress, and robust features for large retails. The type is platform, the setup is medium, so it is pretty much not hard, and the cost is pretty cheap, as you can see here, and there is no subscription to do. So here, I'm going to go to WooCommerce, and this is basically the steps that we have to follow in order to actually achieve the perfect website. So here, as you can see, there is the steps that we are going to go through one by one. So the first thing is to uh, have WooCommerce version uh, at least 2.4.8 or higher. So let's check that out. If we do have it, I'm going to open it in localhost, access WordPress, and wait for my website to be opened. Go to the dashboard and here, as you can see, we just have to go to the plugins, click on add new, and simply search for WooCommerce right here and click on enter. So for my specific website, I can't really download it since I am using a local host for this video, but it's gonna be uh, very easy for you guys. It's not gonna be as complicated as you think of. Uh, in general, uh, the problem with my website is I don't have the latest version of PHP, but here if we click on WooCommerce, the version is basically 8.4. So here they are only asking for 2.4.8 or higher. So we already have that. 
So here also there is a requirement. Welcome Star has an HTTPS connection and doesn't have redirection. This can be checked in here. So you have to check that as well. Welcome to this API is accessible. This can be verified in HT access file by making sure it has entry set uh, this basically these things here on HTTP uh, authorization equals uh, sign one. So this is for the step one, which is not complicated. You just have basically to download WooCommerce. So the second step is basically from the admin panel of your store, open WooCommerce, then go to the settings, then advanced. And then the legacy, as you can see here, uh, API, enable the legacy REST API. Basically, you're gonna create a legacy API, but this API will not be enabled. So you have to go ahead and check this button. And also, guys, just as a reminder, we've already talked about the WooCommerce API REST key. So you can really just check it out after this video if you were really interested in uh, that topic. And here, as you can see, the permalinks. Make sure that your permalinks are pretty much easy or plain. So here, if I want to the settings, as you can see, and I went to the permalinks right here, you will find that it has to be plain. So something like that, as you can see. So here, open settings, permalinks, under common settings, choose any other link structure other than plain in order for WooCommerce API to work. So this plain will not help you to create or to manage your API keys in WooCommerce. So you have to change that to anything else. Literally anything else can do the job for you. Then click save changes after you do that. And now we are on step number four. Step number four is basically is installing the Gelato plugin. So click on add new, search for Gelato. And here we just have to wait. And as you can see, Gelato integration for WooCommerce, you just have to click on install and as you will be able to see, we are going to simply wait and activate it right through here. So as you can see here, it will be added in this section. So here it is, Gelato integration for WooCommerce is already installed and added. Now the fifth step is to connect your WooCommerce to Gelato. So simply you just have to click on connect to Gelato and then they will take you to the space where you're gonna simply just grant some access, some permission. So you're gonna give them the permission to create to create web hooks, view and manage coupons, view and manage customers, view and manage orders and sales reports and view and manage your products, which is the most important thing. So just approve that and right after it, you're gonna be able to to manage and integrate or you finally integrated your WooCommerce store with your Gelato platform. It is as easy as you can see. So yeah guys, nothing is very complicated about that. Very easy, very simple processes that you have to follow. So we have arrived like that to the ending of this video. So guys, thank you a lot for watching. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.